I'm going to give you one of my very favorite sub-personalities of the persona. And uh, if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, just bear with me for a sec. This is in relation to the, the real cause of procrastination. Okay. So no one wants to procrastinate. Are we all in agreement with that? Nobody wants to procrastinate. Nobody does it consciously. Everyone wants to stop procrastinating. So we're in agreement with that. So we're going to put procrastination in the bad room. Okay, we all want to stop it. The issue is if we're all trying desperately to stop it, why do so many of us struggle with it? Okay, it's an interesting question. If it's obviously, so obviously this bad thing, why are we doing it? Why are so many of us doing it? The issue is, you know, procrastination is in the bad room. I refer to the shadow. In Jungian psychotherapy he talks about this shadow at this part of ourselves we don't really like. The problem, what's really driving it, is what we put in the good room or our persona. Now, so the, the shadow aspect of this is procrastination or the procrastinator. So what is this good sounding thing that's actually causing it? Because that's how the persona shadow works. One feeds the other. Neither of them are ultimately helpful. Although it sounds like the persona is better, but it isn't really. The aspect that drives procrastination, which is in the persona, is the subpersonality referred to as the achiever or the doer. Okay. In my book, I refer to it as a, sometimes a chronic doer. Someone who is constantly preoccupied, at least mentally, if not in their behavior, with doing things. Constantly. Okay. Nothing is ever enough. I need to do more and more and more and more and more all the time. Constantly busy, or at least telling themselves they should be busy. The persona is really always about, and all, these, all this good sounding stuff that's in the persona is usually about the future. Someday I will be, oh, I need to become much more busy and, and productive and achieve more than I actually am right now or I have in the past. It's our attachment to the doer or the achiever that is driving all of this mental psychic energy into procrastination. It's why we keep doing it. So what do we do with this? You know, all my videos are kind of um, on procrastination is, okay, I'm, it's one thing for me to explain it. But what do we do then with that? If we find that we're attached to this, this, this real need and this anxiety driven need to do all the time, we need an alternative to it. And it has to be outside of this whole mindset of persona shadow, right? Now, the approach that's different, the, 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 the replacement or the alternative to the achiever or the doer is different concepts and concepts that are not even in this mindset. Rather than focusing on doing and achieving, we focus only on the next step, okay? So everything is unconditionally easy. That's where we want to get to. Unconditionality is the alternative to this. Unconditionally easy. Never anything that's gonna cause my nervous system to react in a, in a way that's gonna make me feel overwhelmed and will shut it all down. Okay, something else about this is to develop much more self-trust, self-trust. Self-trust is an alternative to the, the doer or the achiever, which is all future-oriented, right? Huge elaborate plans that are, that are future-based. An alternative to that is I make very small and very few promises to myself. And they're only ones that I intend on fully following through with. See, the problem isn't that we make promises to ourselves. The problem is that we make huge promises to ourselves, right? Ones that we don't really have any hope of following through with. So any plan or any future, um, any goal or anything we, we tell ourselves we're going to do, generally speaking, the rule of thumb is that it has to be incredibly easy because the danger is that we set this huge task for ourselves in the future 
and fail to follow through and then this do we get into this guilt cycle okay really those plans are designed to undermine us from the very beginning okay until we start to, to catch on to that whole dynamic and then what we start to do is really realize okay look any i can still make promises and it's important that i make promises it's, it's good to have these goals but it has to be the most important thing is when i'm doing that is that it's not perpetuating the cycle of guilt that we feel emotionally because that's the one thing that's going to really really hold us back okay so and that's really procrastination it lives off guilt okay without guilt there is no procrastination i've said that many times in other videos so we want to start cultivating and holding on to those those ideas we write about those ideas we we think in ter terms of those concepts Right, rather than this focus on, if we find ourselves perpetually focused on achieving and doing more and more and more, we want to start moving into doing less, less, less. Still doing, absolutely still doing, but doing less, promising less, right? But actually delivering more and delivering consistently on that. So it's something, it's a philosophy that we're really trying to bring into our personal productivity. And once we drop our attachment to the achiever and the doer in the future oriented achiever and doer what's going to happen when we're not attached to this persona concept anymore this so personality there's nothing fueling the procrastinator anymore and it all goes away procrastination ends and there's no more in in the persona there's nothing but guilt uh, sorry nothing but anxiety in the in the shadow nothing but guilt full of it okay so when this goes away, this goes away. We drop anxiety, we drop guilt. And we're just very gradually making progress towards our goal, building self-trust with ourselves. And there's no drama. There's no drama. It's just quite peaceful and ordinary and enjoyable, dare I say. So I'm really just asking you to kind of think about this and frame your approach to personal productivity in a different way. And if you want to learn more about it, my book has a lot of this concept, the, the concepts, the link for it, uh, you can find below. And um, I'll leave it there for today. Thanks so much for joining me and uh, take care of yourself and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.